All right, everybody. Hello. Welcome to the Super Jacob Show. I'm Super Jacob, and this is our uh, RPG Maker VX. Happy New Year, everybody. This is actually coming out day before New Year's, New Year's Eve, um, and I'm actually recording it. Um, it's almost New Year's Eve. It'll day be before. Year's it's going to come out tomorrow. It'll, it'll be New Year's Eve in yeah, this two is, hours. Yeah, this is coming out to, <laughs> tomorrow, so I'm really un, 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 uh, under the gun here. All right, so we last time I was uh, doing uh, like um, opening cutscenes and stuff, all that jazz. Um, and so this time we're gonna uh, we're gonna mess with our guys. So we're gonna open this. Um, and this guy named Eric the Silver Reaper. We're not gonna name him that. It's gonna be Dylan. Of course. <laughs> uh, Dylan Farseer. And his nickname is gonna be Dylan. And um, we'll hit apply. And uh, soldier, we don't want him to be. We want him to be captain. He's a captain. All right, apply. And uh, these parameter curves. This is. Uh, we want the captain. We want him uh, to have pretty high agility. Now, what does um, all this agility and everything do? Let's look at our uh, our parameters. Oh. It's actually got a character generator. Oh, that's for the physical. Yeah, we'll do that in a second. Uh, for what we want him to look like, right? Okay, so you can pick and and do and hit generate random, and just this generates a random character, you know. And you can just click generate random until you find a guy that looks kind of like the character you want to have, you know. Uh, but uh, we're gonna see what all these uh, these things do so um, uh, parameters and formulas and skill settings I think skill settings uh, parameters okay um, agility determines their action order during a turn basically it makes them faster and uh, so I want to make him uh, he's a he's the captain uh, like a, a ship captain, captain of a ship. Um, attack power is damage. Defense power is uh, how much damage they'll take. Uh, magic attack is just the secondary attack type when he's doing uh, stuff that's flagged magic uh, and magic defense. Then uh, speed per round. Uh, and then chance of... Uh, uh, so we're going to make him really agile and really lucky. Uh, he's going to have real low magic attack and real low magic defense. And he's going to have medium... Uh, power and defense. He's going to have low MP and high HP. Is uh, kind of what we're going to do with, uh, with with this guy. So let's open this, and we're up here on classes. The captain. Okay, so hit points. Okay, max hit points. We want this to be high, so we want him to be uh, A in that. So okay. he's really strong. So we'll hit OK, and I just clicked A on that. Uh, and we can actually use these tabs along here, so we're just going around. Magic points, we, we want him to be low with magic points. Generate that curve. Okay. Um, and so that curve shows how it in increases as he levels up? Yes, that's right. Okay, so attack, we said he was going to be about medium on attack. We'll do C on attack. And we'll do uh, B on defense. All right. And then this we'll do um, we'll do D on his uh, so he's got a C on attack D on his defense and D on his magic defense so D on both of those right but C on his attack and we'll put um, E on his on his magic attack real low right. So, but then his agility, we're going to hit uh, A, and his luck, we're going to hit B. All right. So he's, we'll hit OK. So now we see he's he's going to he's going to be decent hit points, right? Um, uh oh, did that not change all of them the way I wanted it to? I think I might. Decent hit points. I wanted real low that. Uh, decent attack. A 
I don't think it saved it every time. So you have to do it. You have to do okay in between each one. So we're going to hit points. We wanted, uh, I said, what, B on hit points? And then this. Then, okay, I wanted, what did I say? C on attack or B on attack? C on attack and then B on defense. And, I mean, there's a, a range. Okay, then this magic will be D. D on magic uh, attack. And also D on magic defense. No, E on magic defense. But then agility was A. And luck was also A. So we've got, he's, um, he's really agile and really lucky. But he's, magic just will mess him up. And then uh, he's got, you know, moderately decent defense and attack. Low magic points, high hit points. Okay, so, and then uh, we're going to pick the skills that uh, he has. Right now, we're going to have to uh, make the skills that we want him to have, okay, the, as a captain, uh, on the different levels that he has. And we'll have to make what equipment we want him to have. So, uh, but let's hit apply on this and then go over here, uh, and he is a captain, right? Initial level 1, max level 99. Uh, description, uh, this is... Um, uh, let's see, the, uh, captain of the, what's the name of our ship? The Sky Blazer, um, Sky. captain of the Sky Blazer, um, travels, travels the stars in the search of Search of Adventure. There we go. All right. We'll apply that. Okay, classes here. Captain, now skills. Okay, so these are all of our skills. Okay, attacks, just a regular normal thing. Uh, this is always, you just want to keep this as regular attack because this is what everyone is going to do when they regular attack. So leave this alone. Uh, guard, uh, also leave that alone. Um, and we've got 126 to use. We can't change the maximum in the light, so this 126 is going to have to be what we use for everybody. Okay, so dual attack, double attack, triple attack, etc., etc. We can use these for whoever. Um, so we are going to make our first. Um, first custom skill. So what we're going to do is the, the captain uh, of the ship, uh, he's going to have an ability that starts off, um, we'll, uh, we're going to start off this, we'll, we'll change fire breath, okay? So, um, we need a symbol that it goes with. First, we have to decide what it does. Um, so we're going to call this. This is um, uh, expert command, right? And description raises attack of entire party for the battle, right? Okay, so skill type, it's special, MP cost, none, only in battle, scope, all allies, um, all enemy, all allies, there we go, all allies, only in battle, okay, certain hit, animation, um, whatever animation we want for everybody, you can just pick something, uh, that's power, let's do power up three, um, and says, um, you go. No, you can't play. 
and so it's going to be it's going to say Dylan uh, commands the troops. All right, and then um, required weapon. Does it require a weapon? No, um, but we'll get into that later. Uh, damage. Okay, no damage. Effects. Okay. State, it's going to add a state. It's going to add, it should be, um, let's see. We'll have to, we'll have to parameter. Oh, there we go. Add buff. Here we go. Add buff attack for, we'll do uh, five turns. Right? So it buffs their attack for five turns. Right? And it can do, we can do special effects or um, permanently raises something. Right? See? Or make them learn a still, or even do a common event. But we're not going to do any of that right now. Um, we're going to do just add the buff attack for five turns. Okay? So what this does is it just raises. Uh, and it will do four, five turns, right? So this is, and it doesn't take anything to do it. He can just do it whenever it costs his action, basically. Uh, and the icon is going to be attack up, right? That's that's a good icon for it. Okay, and this is called expert command, and we'll hit OK, right? So now we can go here um, over to classes. And we are going to give the captain class, we're going to give him expert command and at level one. Okay. Uh, note, um, you can write whatever you don't really need to know. But there we go. At level one, the, the captain character gets uh, expert command. All right. Uh, and what you want to do is give people enough, um, you know, have them learn a new thing. Um, in, uh, frequently enough that um, they, it, it keeps adding the di dynamic. But so we figured out that that's the sort of thing this captain class is going to be like a support class. So we'll go to other skills and let's make some more. Uh, so, so this is, uh, so that was expert command and uh, he's uh, take cover, right? Okay, and we'll change the icon here. Uh, defense up, right? Um, and this is skill type special, MP cost, none, only in battle, all allies, because that's what the, this guy does, uh, is that he can just use that sort of thing. It's going to say, um, yells, take cover, all right? So username, yells, take cover, um, and oh, let's see, nope, yeah, yells, in space, yells, take cover. And let's not capitalize that C because people fuss at me because um, it's unnecessary. Okay, so um, skill type special all allies doesn't doesn't take any uh, does doesn't take any cost there, um, and this uh, damage none right and then effects okay it's parameter add buff and we're gonna buff defense on this one buff defense for five turns right um, and we can add another buff right um, what's a buff uh, to um, to make something stronger buff beefy um, uh, I guess that's where it comes from. To, you know, someone someone's buff, they're strong, and so buff means to increase. Debuff means to decrease. Um, and let's say taking cover um, when you yell for for everyone to take cover, um, it ups their defenses. But let's um, say that it also lowers their um, 
uh, not not defense lowers lowers their attack. Okay. So, but but let's still make it better. Let's lower their attack for two turns, but it ups their defense for five turns. Right. So uh, so it's kind of a trade off. Um, while they're taking cover, they don't do as much uh, attack. You know. So this one's a little bit different uh, than than the expert command. Uh, but if you need the extra defense, then, then you can use that. So, uh, so there we go. Uh, <coughs> we'll, we'll do that. Hit apply. Um, and then we'll do another one. Uh, so, and let's double check. It's special, take cover. Oh, we got to change what it says. It says, um, uh, increases defense of entire party for five turns reduces reduces attack power for two turns so that they people know what it does um, animation animation it needs to be um, like a defense up so let's see if we can find a defense up uh, because I had a power up one right here. Uh, power up, power down. Um, hit special blow. Sweep body slam. Revive power. Uh, so we'll just do uh, power up two. You know, there we go. And we could make our own, uh, as yeah, I showed you before, you make your own animations for how this would look. So we could go do our custom custom animation for one of these. We'll do a custom animation for the next one. Okay, so that's like expert command and take cover. These are going to be as basics. So let's go and see uh, expert command. And then we'll give him at level three, he's going to learn take cover. Uh, so here we go. Uh, so that... Uh, we won't give him something at level 2, not worry about it. People um, level up fairly quickly during the beginning so they can be spaced up more. Um, but we are going to go over here and see what uh, we want to give for the next one. Okay, so this is uh, going to be here. Uh, so expert command, take cover. We've got the idea that this guy, captain guy, he, he, he helps the entire party. Okay, so... Um, so, so now um, <coughs> he's going to uh, uh, take cover and then command. What else? What else he can uh, he can do would be something that uh, maybe makes them all faster. Um, so we'll be. Um, uh, What, what would we call a command that uh, would be a, uh, a a captain of a ship making his troops go faster? Rally? There we go. Rally. Rally the okay, troops. Okay, there we go. Um, increases party speed for five rounds. Or five turns, or however you know. I put it a little so now now this should be speed up, Ooh, don't right? Unplug agility. Mouse. Don't unplug Daddy's mouse. Agility up. Oh wait, agility. Up. There we go. Okay, so this uh, is all allies. So we're getting an idea of what kind of character our main uh, our main guy is. He he helps all his party members. So um, uh, no damage. Uh, so, so he's uh, he's more of a support class. Uh, that's the decision we've made here. Certain hit speed success. Um, done. Repeat. TP game. Uh, animation uh, is. Let's see. Oh, power up four or power up three. There we go. Um, and then yells. And so, so what that does, we'll make this effect, uh, add buff, the agility, right, for five turns. Um, but then 
it drops their luck for two turns, you know, that sort of thing. And we might actually even, once we apply that, we'll go back over here to expert command and this, you know, ups the attack, you know, let's, uh, let's make it, um, also, yeah, let's, let's make this also debuff, um, the, the magic attack for two turns, so that, so that his expert, well, now let's debuff magic defense, maybe, you know, uh, that way he, it doesn't, mess up your attack values, uh, yeah, and otherwise you don't have to trade off. Um, but so, so that's kind of the thing it does, and later his better stuff might do it without the drawback. You know, we could, we could do it that way so that he's got, uh, you know, diff he can raise attack without that, that drawback. Okay, so, so, but now Rally, uh, oh, we wanted to make our own animation for it, right? Um, so I did power up three was what I was changing. So let's go over here to animations, right? And I think before I figured out I couldn't make, yeah, can't make new animations. So I just have to edit what's there, but I've got 110 to use. And uh, power up three was what I was using. So this is what power up three looks like, you know? So we can uh, change our own, so let's, um, Let's change the graphic on power up three, and let's um, hmm. look around and find find one that. can't unplug daddy's headphones either. I like the special... St hey! <laughs> She's... Okay, so let's do that. Alright. Now let's play it. So... So... <laughs> So, so now we've changed it to that. Um, so, and then let's go over here to classes. And uh, this is level, his level five. And it's rally. Okay. Um, and let's uh, delete that one. Let's see if there's any that we want to add to that he'll just have. Um, let's see what some of these some of these skills do. Skills. Um, let me go through and see if any of them look like. Ooh, stuns all and we can just straight up give him shout. That'll be a good one. That's something he can do. Uh, so, so let's make his um, level ten one be shout. Good. We can use one that's already there. Okay, and then uh, it'll delete that one and delete that one and delete that one. Okay, so um, and let's try to get them in order here. Um, level 10 shout. There we go. Uh, and really we should have one around level 7 too, but I don't want to give him shout at level 7. At level 7, let's let's give him... It's a, I like to keep them in order, which is why I do that. Okay, so we're not giving him shout at level 7. We will give him look around for something else uh, we have to we're gonna have to make another one All right. and so we can just go through here um, and we're you know make all our own uh, stuff uh, so we'll just for right now we're gonna change it but uh, we'll just give him 
give you whatever meditate is. I don't know, but we'll we'll change that. So that's um, how we're going to give him all of his um, different abilities. Um, so we'll we'll make a another version of the command and take over. We'll make him where he can raise different stats of our our group. Um, and we're going to have to figure out what sort of armor he can equip, right? Okay, so this is our parameters for uh, all this different stuff. Um, this is special parameters, TJR, TGR, um, and that sort of thing. Uh, hit, evasion, critical percent, um, his skill type is special, uh, weapon is uh, X. Um, so when we go into weapons, this is uh, weapon type axe. So this makes it where he can use anything that is an axe, right? But we don't want him to use that, right? We want we want him to use a gun, right? We want our captain to use guns. So we're going to change this equip weapon. We're going to make him use gun, right? gun okay and equip armor uh, light armor we're going to take off heavy armor um, we, he can only use light armor and we are going to only use small shields light armors and small shields he's <coughs> right um, and so anything that we label general armor or light armor he can use, anything we label small shield he can use, and uh, anything we, any of the weapons that are labeled guns he can use. And uh, he's got skill type special, so that uh, I'll, that's what his skill type will say. XP curve. Um, this is a little bit complex. Um, it changes the, what I like to do is keep it exactly the same for every person. Uh, more dynamic games, they can all have a different XP curve, and it, that can, uh, you, it, it's it's really finicky because if you mess with it too much, you can have characters getting way different level than each other, and that is difficult with the balance, so I like to keep it as simple as possible. Um, so, we are uh, making our captain, uh, let's make what he looks like now. Um, I'm going to go on here uh, and we are going to generate random and we're going to generate random until we find somebody this looks like kind of like Dylan uh, so output face okay and output character And then um, on here, uh, graphic Dylan, there we go. And Dylan, there we go. Okay, so uh, starting weapon, none, uh, none. Uh, he's got casual clothes. Uh, he actually, um, oh, I did it not. Oh, I didn't. I didn't hit save after I did that. So you gotta remember to hit save after you change things around. You have to hit apply before you uh, do it. So let's take off heavy armor like I did before. Take off large shield like I did before. Uh, see. All that stuff that I changed went away. All because I didn't hit apply. So we got level three take cover. Level five, we have rally. Level seven, we had meditate. Level ten, uh, what did I put at level ten? Shout. There we go. Yeah, I think it was shout. Yeah, it was. Okay. And so now we hit apply. Make sure you hit apply after everything so you don't mess mess it up like that. Uh, so here's our guy, and he's a captain, and he has starting weapon. He's got a flintlock, shield, uh, buckler, head, bandana, accessory. Um, goodness. 
That's some interesting stuff. We'll not give him any of those. He's just got casual clothes, a buckler bandana, and the uh, the little pistol, right? We can give him specific stuff that's not within his class. That's if we wanted to have two people that were both the same class but had kind of different um, abilities. Uh, not really skills, but different statistics sometimes, or could equip different weapons, but they're the same class or, or a special weapon or something. Uh, we, we can put this stuff here that's special to just him. Um, so so if apply. he's the only one who can use, who can utilize the super special artifact of doom yeah, in the yeah. game, then you uh, put that there. That sort of thing. Uh, so, so that's him. Uh, so we can uh, begin to, you know, m make all our characters. Uh, we'll we'll make uh, our crew is going to have I think f it's um, four. The maximum in a initial party I think is four. Um, could be more. Uh, so, currency unit, I'm going to change your credits, because that's, you know, um, and so, whoops, got applesauce all over your tummy. I'm going to check something, make sure this is, uh, yeah, okay. Anyway, uh, yeah, so. All cleaned up. So we will do that there, and then, um, so, it's really going to be interesting how we're going to have to do this. I think it's going to be really interesting just to see how, just how loud BB smacking her lips is going to sound when we play this well, back try later. Not to, try not to notice too much. I, I can't hear it, so it's You fine. have headphones on. Yeah, well, so, um, question is, so, this goes here, and, what's there? Oh, yeah, there's the, okay. And so we will make the second member of the party his first mate. So. Well, bless you. Leave your diaper on. Let's change that. There we go. Um, and mouth. Let's change to that. Nope. That's fine. All right. Output face. Um, output character. All right, so now um, we run over here and actors, this one, this is here. Um, boink, 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 boink. So there we go. Um, her class is going to be the second on the list, nickname, uh, first, meet, or no, that. just leave it like that um, and we'll apply there now classes okay so um, this one she's an engineer right okay so uh, in engineer is gonna have 
really high this and uh, really high this um, this can be this 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 all right so that's that um equip weapon um hammer okay um skill type Special, general armor, light armor, right? Okay, and then apply to that. Now, skills here. Um, right. Uh, we are going to make a special skill that's specifically for the engineers. So we're going to move, we're going to take this, we're going to call this uh, engineer, right? And we're going to make it a token like some kind of wrench or something. Some sort of tool is what I need. Uh, hammers, swords. I really want it to be like a like a tool. There we go. A pick, a shovel, maybe a hammer, a saw. Those are possibilities. Um, hmm. I'd prefer if it was more tool looking than even those, like a wrench or a pair of pliers or something. I could always find a picture of a pair of pliers and go for that. Um, but you know that would you so so you can go and edit this and, and put on your pair of pliers or or whatever you would want. Um, let's just find something that seems. How about a screwdriver? In, yeah, we'll see. You could do a screwdriver, but I don't have a screwdriver on here. Is the thing. Uh, that's why I was saying I would prefer something more tool related than pick. But uh, um, well, I, would go, I personally would go go for the hammer over the pick of the saw. Yeah, well, I'm just trying to see if there's anything that I could see that's even, you know, lo looks even better. Um, as I'm looking through here, I see shields and various little things. Um, just something that looks more and more engineery, you know. Uh, a spanner would be nice, you know, a, a wrench or whatever you want to call them. Um, so yeah, ideally you would go get a wrench or a spanner or something and, and put it in here. So we'll just um, pick... Um, that. Um, and description. Um, Uh, let's see. Um, uh, uses uh, surrounding surrounding environment in combat. Okay, so skill type special, scope, um, none, only in battle, um, we'll do the TP cost, um, and I'll say uh, TP cost 10, I don't, uh, I don't know how much TP people are typically going to have. Uh, so we'll have to figure out the cost for this uh, later when we go into testing. Uh, success rate 100%, no repeats, TP gain 
uh, none, uh, hit type, um, this is a certain hit, um, animation, uh, none, we're going to do none, and then the, the name is, um, uh, Attempts Okay, uh, but is doing something so this this is our engineer person the she repairs the ship and she does really odd combat stuff That's kind of okay, so no damage Effects this is the one it's going to common event uh, The second common event is what this thing happens Okay, so now we have to pull up this common event, engineer, let's, classes, the engineer here, level one gets the engineer ability, right, and gets no other abilities, delete, 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 right, so there's... Uh, that. Okay. Now, let's uh, open this, right? And uh, let's make, yep, she's an engineer here. Now, uh, system common events. Okay, this we're going to call it engineer. So here's what it does. Okay, it is going to um, control uh, control variables, and it's going to make this variable right here the engineer variable, and it's going to set it to a random number between one and ten. Right? Okay. So now. It's going to conditional branch, right? If that variable, engineer, okay, is equal to one, then it's going to do this, right? Copy that, okay? Paste, 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 right? Then we're going to edit this to three. So we're going to have just random things that can happen when this character engineers. Right. So, so this is creating a really, really dynamic ability on this character. Okay. Does it do like random stuff? Yep, it, it does. It, it has a chance. It's going to have um, ten different things that it can do. So one, two, three, four, five... This one's going to be six. It'll basically roll a dice almost. Yep. That's exactly, basically what that does. I made a random variable. Okay, so what it does is it chooses a random variable, a uh, random number one to ten. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Okay, so okay. So if it's a one, this is uh, insert um, show text. Uh, nothing happened. Okay, so that's the bad one. All right. Uh, uh, this uh, and see what we can we can actually do show show animation, right? But we don't want to do um, regular animation. We want to do battle show battle animation. Uh, an entire troop. Okay. Uh, we're gonna do um, thunder. 
on the entire troop uh, on a two and we're going to um, we're gonna um, change enemy hit points entire troop decrease um, by a variable okay so we're gonna need a new new variable this is gonna be the amount of damage done right okay so oh, let's edit that um, engineer damage okay okay so that's engineer damage so we need to we need to control that variable we need to make it be something okay so over here with control variables we're going to control engineer damage to figure out how much damage okay so we're going to set it to uh, random number okay between 1 and 100 right and then for this one we are going to control variable so if it's this one uh, engineer damage control variable here we're going to add to it this variable uh, we're, we're going to add to it game data uh, character uh, wait no party member nope actor there we go actor Leia not her level we're gonna add um, add the magic attack there we go so we're, we're gonna add a magic attack to it um, okay and we're gonna uh, okay so it, it hits thunder uh, and insert show text um, Leia overloads uh, uh, causes an electrical overload, right? And the cool thing about this is what we're doing is we're actually decreasing the hit points of the enemy in it via a script this way. So it bypasses all of the enemy's stats, no matter what it is, and does a set amount of damage based on that random 1 to 100 plus whatever the magical attack of that character is. So it it occurs completely outside the normal battle dynamic. Now, there's a danger in making skills this way because they can very much unbalance the game. So you have to practice and see, because if there's a enemy that has really high defense but low, um, uh, low hit points, uh, and you've made it that way so that like the, the they have to use, uh, use magic in order to get past him or whatever, uh, this can bypass that but it's random so that's the trade-off so that's the sort of thing you do because they can't choose to do this particular uh, it's random one through ten and one is nothing happened two is this happened and there'll be some other things that, that are going to happen so so but this um, does does that um, and so now the the second thing so we're going to insert this um, uh, we're going to um, show text uh, Leia created potion Ooh, right okay so for something like that it's just insert uh, so <coughs> what we have uh, there's uh, change items uh, full potion right here increase constant one there we go creates a potion okay and so that's just something that they just did in the middle of the battle create a potion you know, uh, which is a good thing, but maybe not what you needed to do right at that exact time. So, you know, her ability is good, but not always, you know, always exactly helpful for what you needed to do. Um, say, for example, um, 
so now we can uh, do do something else like uh, what we're going to do is uh, we are going to um, change enemy state okay add we're not going to add death to everyone uh, we are going to um, confuse them all confuse all the enemies okay and let's do a proper battle animation for that entire troop um, there should be a confusion something on here I would imagine um, yeah confusion there confusion on entire troop right uh, and we don't even have to say confusion uh, but we can uh, say show text um, There, she uh, makes a loud noise, and that's what confuses all the enemies. Uh, so that makes them all confused. And this, it just automatically makes them confused. So even if, it, so instead of trying to do confusion through an attack, which sometimes has a chance to confuse them, this just automatically does it. But against it, it's 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 random. Uh, so so then uh, the fifth one uh, will be. Um, let's let's do something that is on just one enemy uh, so uh, what we do is three battle um, force action instead of doing something to so what we'll do is force force action actor Leia okay to just attack a random target right okay so this one is it's just she just just attacks right Okay, and now you can see how we can also force action. We'll do Leia. Okay, instead of attack, you can pick any of these. They're not on her skill list, but she has access to them if, if you put it in randomly. So we'll just uh, pick one, uh, just Mystic Spell, target random. Okay, I don't even know what Mystic Spell does. Okay, so let's go look and see what, what it does. It's all the way down at the bottom list. Okay, so skill, Mystic Spell. Okay, scope the user, add state, MP cost down. Okay, it reduces, for five turns, reduce the MP cost of spells for the user to where all, all spells are free. Uh, so maybe we don't want to uh, use that because she doesn't use spells. So let's uh, change how that works right so let's go back to that common event uh, on engineer go down here and let's see uh, l instead of doing it on Leia right um, oh Leia does target um, yeah instead of doing mystic spell let's do one that's obviously an uh, attack uh, thousand arrows on random. Okay, so there's uh, that. And then insert, uh, we can do force uh, enemy transform. One, transform the enemy, just straight up transform the first enemy on their thing to a slime. Uh, so, so there's a 10% chance. A just any enemy. Um, and we'll have to, uh, you know, insert a conditional branch because let's uh, check um, enemy um, uh, well maybe see because you don't want it to be able to be done on bosses so you might have to do something uh, to make sure that that can't be done on a boss. The way you would do that is um, control uh, control switch and uh, do this uh, this is boss battle 
Okay. Oh wait, not control switch. I need to um, delete that. So insert. It needs to be a conditional branch. Conditional branch. If the switch boss battle is on. All right, is off. Okay, so if the switch boss battle is off, then it'll do that. But if boss battle is on, it's not going to transform the enemy I into that. What it's going to do is it's just going to force a different action. Uh, we'll just do... Um, uh, it just forces maybe dual attack, right? At random. Um, oh, let's make it. Let's force the enemy if it's to to dual attack. I wonder if that now. Yeah, we'll we'll force Leia to just dual attack random. Okay, so, so that way we won't be... Tra but now, when we go in and make any boss battle, we have to make sure that during the boss battles, we turn that boss battle switch on, and at the end of a boss battle, we turn the boss battle switch off. We have to remember that through making the rest of the game, so that's a, a thing that could cause problems if we forget that. Yeah, and that's why making abilities this way is uh, can be problematic if, you, if you're not careful. Um, so... Uh, then, um, we are gonna, um, force another action. Let's make, uh, make Leia, um, let's do, uh, just cure, is cure target last, uh, or... Do random. Uh, yeah, let's ice or ice two really. Let's make them a little bit. So force ice two and uh, right. So there's and and then. On this one, uh, let's we will um, just force another action. I mean, you get the idea so that. Uh, Fire two, so there's uh, fire two, ice two, um, and this one will do like lightning two. So do 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 force action. So thunder two is that is that it? Heal, fire, thunder two. There we go. Um, or let's do spark two instead of thunder two. I saw spark two. A difference. Maybe maybe I should do fire too because it's oh not blizzard too. Uh, blizzard is thunder too. All right, so force force Leia to do that. Okay, so so now our character has this ability that ten percent of the time does nothing, but the rest of ninety percent of the time can do some really interesting stuff. It might create a potion. It might. Uh, it might confuse everybody, it might just regular attack, it might do a little, you know, magic stuff, might transform the enemy into just a small, small enemy. So it's this really good uh, ability uh, that adds some flavor to our game. Uh, so now instead of just a guy with a sword and a girl with a bow, uh, instead of that, we'll hit apply and hit OK. Uh, so now I instead of that, we have this guy who's the captain of the ship, <coughs> and the stuff that he does is he shouts out commands to uh, to his troops. And then the engineer of the ship, uh, she has this ability that just randomly does strange stuff. 
you know. Uh, so that adds some flavor to the the game, and we won't give we'll, we'll give her some other skills so that people can you know you. But but this is going to be her main special thing. But it's random, so uh, it adds a little bit of uh, that that random dynamic. Will it work? Um, and then we're going to add. Uh, some more, some more guys uh, that have different interesting skills. Uh, we're we're going to add a guy that has maybe a, a combat mechanism that has cooldown. Uh, and so, so what that'll do is uh, it'll have he'll have two abilities, and uh, when he uses one ability, he loses it and gains the second ability. Uh, so, for example, you could have a character that uses uh, a bow. But his ability is, um, you know, it, of shooting the bow, then takes away that ability and gives him the ability reload, and he had to has to use the ability reload uh, with like a, a bow or a gun. Uh, he has to use the ability reload, and it adds the ability back. So uh, I think I might be able to show that um, really quick. Um, so skill. Uh, let's go over here um, and use one we haven't um, used. Uh, so poison cloud. We're gonna do. Um, uh, we're we're gonna do bow shot. Uh, and uh, icon. Change that to just the bow here. Description. Uh, shoots uh, a bow. Right. Uh, so. But over here on kind, what it's going to do is uh, other learn skill. Right? It's got a learn skill, and what we were on uh, 12, uh, dark cloud, right? Okay, which we're going to change to reload in a second. So. So it does this uh, add state. We're going to take that off, right? Uh, so this animation is going to be Pierce, or uh, right? Is there a uh, shooting bow animation? Maybe? Nope. Just uh, Pierce physical. There we go. Um, one enemy, no, one enemy. Only in battle. Um, special shoots a bow. And what we're going to do is we're going to do this is a physical attack. Um, and Pierce physical uses bow shot. Uh, required weapon right here. Bow. Right? So requires a weapon. Bow. Damage is uh, HP damage element is physical uh, formula okay so quick formula uh, base value is 50 physical and it kind of explains uh, this is a coefficient indicating the degree of the effect the user's attack power and the defense rate. basic value for a typical bludging attack is 100 okay so this is a, a physical attack okay but it also has 25 magical right this uses bow shot okay uh, apply now we're going to change this to reload Uh, so, do we have something that's just an arrow, or a bow that doesn't have, um, is there a picture of a bow without an arrow in it anywhere, or a picture of just an arrow? Uh, nope, I don't see. Um, don't see the, so you would want to get, like, a picture of a bow that only has, uh, that, or that doesn't have an arrow or something, or here, we'll, we'll just do that. Uh, there we go. Um, reloads bow shot. Oh, sorry. Reloads bow shot. Okay, so this, um, none, only in battle. Um, none. 
uh, certain certain hit uh, none and this uh, adds uh, learn skill uh, bow shot right okay but we have to make them forget bow shot after they use it okay so bow shot we're gonna go over here common event because there's not a forget skill see uh, or anything right okay uh, we can't we can't unlearn a skill I think um, yep so on common event right we're gonna have to make another one another common event apply okay oh sorry didn't mean to oh, close it go to common event and we're gonna this is reload uh, oh no this is bow shot okay all right and it all it does is um, changes the skill change it's on here somewhere uh, change actor change skills there we go um, and uh, Terrence is going to be the third actor is the one who's going to be uh, the one who's going to be this type of person uh, so we'll just put that down here and he's going to forget bow shot okay so when he uses bow shot he forgets bow shot right uh, so that's what we have here bow shot but he learns reload and he forgets bow shot and then reload he learns bow shot and we got to make him forget right but we, we don't want to use two common events okay so let's insert here uh, conditional branch okay if actor skill right if bow shot is learned <coughs> right then he's gonna forget bow shot okay but if bow shots not learned then if bow shots learned he forgets bow shot otherwise right he's gonna forget the other one so we're gonna edit this and he's gonna forget reload so that way you can and this is a real simple way but we could use it with like different aspects uh, and even chain different abilities so that you could have a particular character that uh, they could use one ability uh, say like power up uh, and then uh, they would use another ability um, you know uh, superpower and then use another ability like uh, discharge you know so so they'd have to power up use two skills in a row in order to use their big skill but it's a really big thing uh, and and so and you want to make this uh, a more powerful thing because keep in mind the way they're going to have to do it is reload one round and then bow shot then reload so they're only getting to use it every second action so it needs to be at least twice as powerful as a regular attack um, to, to make it worthwhile to use um, but this is just um, the idea of how it how it works so um, when uh, look, we have to go back over here skills okay reload we're gonna um, automatically use common event uh, bow shot okay so what it'll do is he'll uh, we actually need to take this off and make yep uh, we need to take off the learn skill because he's going to have both skills if we do it that way so what we do uh, we're just going to call the common event okay so bow shot and reload both just call the common event uh, one of them does damage reload okay so then uh, because we that that would have messed us up because uh, he would have had both abilities so would have it would have um, uh, done it, it would have done 
uh, it's strange. Okay, so it calls this ability, and if he has bow shot, it takes away bow shot, and we need to add reload. All right? Control chain skills. He's the he's going to be the third guy. Um, and he takes away that and learns that. Okay, and then. But otherwise, it goes the other way. All right, and we're going to give that character uh, it's going to be an archer. Uh, we're going to give him We're going to give him bow shot to start off with. Okay. Um, so there we go, and we'll change his uh, stuff around. But that way, um, he'll he'll have uh, that bow shot right away, um, and when he uses it, he forgets bow shot and learns reload. And so he can only use it every other turn, but we're going to make it do a lot more damage than a regular attack. Uh, and, and you can do all sorts of things with calling common events with skills, where, like, say, for example, uh, it could um, call a common event, and he could choose which arrow to load. Like, you could, on the reload thing, it could bring up a window. Uh, let me show you how that does. Okay, so we would, uh, on under reload, it calls common event bow shot, right? Uh, so let's open up our common event. Okay, so if, uh, if we're reloading, um, we could actually uh, say conditional branch, right? And we could have it based upon what weapon he has, right? So actor weapon and if we say okay if uh, where's the bow if the short bow is equipped then it does bow shot but if a different bow is equipped it equips a another one so so you could you could do change what skill based on which weapon he has and not even make them just progressively better. Make them do different things. You could have like a poison bow, a sleep bow, a fire bow, an ice bow. And so it depend on which one is equipped, his attack um, gives him the availability for not just one, but even multiple. Like I could um, have it add uh, several different. In, it could take off reload and add three different uh abilities uh but all based on that around that particular um bow but different abilities based on what different bow he has so your your decision of how you want to play the game uh you you can equip a different bow not necessarily because it's more powerful than the last bow but because uh you're in a position in the game where you're fighting against fire enemies and you want to do ice damage because it's going to damage them more um so so you keep rotating out those weapons in order to use different abilities uh and uh and not even the type of damage but but that can do different things uh so uh so there's a way to really make um, the skill dynamics of your your characters uh, a lot more fun than just this person has a bow and shoots this type of arrow or whatever. But but m make it where each person's skills are used um, very uniquely instead of just attack, 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 special big magic on everybody, whatever, uh, make, make them u unique where there's, um, they, they have to work together. Um, so, so that's, uh, that's what we can do with all of our characters, uh, different abilities and everything. Um, so I hope you have fun, uh, using, uh, that, that information. Uh, to, to figure out how to make a little bit of flavor to your game uh, so so that it's so the combat is dynamic and that your player has to actually make some decisions while they're fighting enemies 
Uh, and in addition to that, we're going to make our enemies have a lot of different special attacks, special abilities, vulnerabilities, invulnerabilities, weaknesses, strengths, so that the character, the, the player has to decide very carefully what skills they want to use with uh, their um, W with their group uh, and not just spam the attack button. So when we make these guys, we're going to have this stuff where like uh, element rate uh, and, and all this, we're going to make some characters that have very clear weaknesses uh, and very um, instead of just attack always, we're going to give them some special effects. We're going to use status changes, these states. We're going to put a whole bunch of different states on things uh, to, to m make, uh, make it more than just throwing numbers at each other. Uh, so, so people have to think about what they're doing and really uh, work that into the combat. Because the goal is not to just run around hitting the A button to, to level up. We want every single combat to really, really count as strategy. And also, we want uh, the player to be able to, once they figure out the correct strategy for an enemy, to be able to very quickly vanquish that enemy with the correct strategy. But... Without the correct strategy, we want the enemies to be very hard. That way, your player has to think about what they're doing. And they're more engaged in the game instead of just running around, slamming the A button to get along through the next battle. And, uh, and it makes it more fun. Also, when different enemies are combined together, then... Uh, like if we had instead of oh they can just throw fire at the entire enemy and its weakness is fire and it's all dead they, you have an enemy that that they have to throw fire at one and ice at the other because you know they they're two different enemies and they have to think about uh what what they're doing more and so that makes people more engaged in the game more fun uh, having more fun and they feel a better sense of accomplishment after each each battle so each battle isn't as tedious uh, so they're not like oh another battle, um, and, and they feel uh, maybe maybe a sense of accomplishment. Also, so that we can put the battles, um, we we don't want them just constantly you know random battles all the time. Uh, so that we'll 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 make it more fun, better part of the game. So uh, that's been this episode of RPG Maker VX, and I hope y'all have had um, a good time listening to me ramble about this nonsense. Anyway, um, I will see y'all later. Say goodnight, Leia. Night, Leia.